Left Wing Kings. Listen, think, act, repeat. The 2020 election was an interesting topic of the vice presidential debate. At one point during the discussion, Mr. Walls asked Mr. Vance, did Trump lose the 2020 election? Mr. Vance's <laughs> response, I'm focused on the future. Okay. Well, Londa, <laughs> why should this response concern American citizens? Because it's an evasion of the fact or a direct acknowledgement that Trump lost. He lost greatly, yes. bigly, as he says. Okay, mm-hmm. those are the word he used. Um, just to give you um, some, again, from Pew Research and AP News, Biden received 306 electoral votes over Biden, I mean, excuse me, Trump's 232. And Biden won over 7 million as far as the popular vote. Again, that's mm-hmm. Pew Research and AP News. Go Google it. He lost. And it's not acknowledging that fact. It's still, again, creating that political unrest, hence why January 6th existed. Because people really thought that he won for some reason. And, and it's clear that he lost through the Electoral College as well as the popular vote. So he did a double doozy lost okay he lost the popular vote as well as he <laughs> lost the electoral college and and you can go and google that information um so basically just re- raises concerns about whether someone endorses or enables this type of activity like i'm like where, where are we at as a country where you lose and you gracefully lose and you bow out and you and you thank the winner and then you move on that's how you move forward but him just saying and not acknowledging the fact that Biden won, and Biden is the legitimate president at the time, is insulting to everyone and to the democratic process. Yeah, man, it's just, you know, J.D. Vance, you know he's a cheater, right? You know, he he (laughs) cheats. Because, I mean, he did that too smooth. He he, he dodged that question like a nigga called cheating. You know what I mean? (laughs) Straight deflection, like, you know. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Uh, Ain't the game on right? That nigga just turned (laughs) a complete corner around that Mm -hmm. damn question. Exactly. Uh, uh, if I'm correct, Wolanda, that whole movement was called Stop the Steal. Yeah. Stop the Steal. Meaning that, you know, they're still in the election. Let's go after it. It's just, you know, I, I think when it comes down to, to everything, we start talking about what's going on with the gaslighting and everything. It's people that honestly live in that world and believe that, you know. Yep. And have no facts behind it other than listening to those idiots that are talking to them. Yeah. And so for J.D. Vance, and, you know, I'm going I'm to tell you, to be honest with you, when I looked at the, the debate, he seemed, he seemed, I mean, it just, I was impressed by how, you know, articulate he was. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I was, I was impressed by his presentation. Like, yep. you know, uh, if he, he wasn't up here side, siding uh, on, on this, this nonsense, I mean, he's a good candidate, you know, so it's just surprising for me to, you know, and I know, and even in the beginning of his career, he wasn't buying into it. And I, and I think that that's the path that he should t- take, but you know, ambition's a motherfucker. You yes, know what I'm saying? Sir. And so w- with that being said, Hey, you know, he's got an opportunity to try to, even if he runs for vice president, doesn't win, it just puts him in the spotlight and probably after Trump probably being the number one person in the, in the uh, Republican party. And I guarantee you, he'll probably flip. If, if Trump don't win and he goes away, he'll probably flip and go back to, I don't, you know, I wasn't, I was just saying what I needed to say to do whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, I, it just pisses me off that people kind of buy in and believe this shit. You Bro, know, right. believe he, he already admitted story, that you know? he will lie in order to get you to pay attention to something. Yeah. When he talked about the dogs and the cats being eaten in Ohio, mm-hmm. he already admits that he'll lie. On purpose. That's just going to get his way. Talking about that shit so to what you're saying, yeah. he'll, he'll say whatever to get his way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like any politician and shit. Right. Well, that's why I think it's funny because people keep saying, well, I, you know, I'm tired of the, the political jar, jargon and, and you know what I'm saying? And then I was like, but then these are the, this is the game that they play. They, they tell you what you want. They try to get some type of attention. Mm-hmm. J.D. Vance is the reason he's articulated. He's highly educated. Oh, we yeah. know what type of, I, and I never said that he's, he's not educated. He is smart. And that's why he knows how to handle himself. Unlike the one who's going to be the president of the United States if we don't vote correctly on November 5th. You know, like he's, he's engaging, mm-hmm. intentionally yeah. engaging. He knows what to say. He knows what not to say. He knows how to say it. Yeah. You know, I said, that's the thing that we, I said we're trying to get away from as far as with politics. We want somebody who's more authentic. How authentic is that? He's just as fake as the rest of them. Yes, He's ma'am. just very articulate in what yeah. he does. You know, I, I, somebody was on a show a couple of days ago I was looking at and tried to argue now, well, uh, Trump ain't a politician. That's what we like him. He's a businessman. He's a, <laughs> no, that nigga's a politician. Though. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? 
He was the president for four years. If he yeah. wasn't going in, he is now. Yep. And uh, so, uh, I, I, and uh, J.D. Vance just proven that he's a, a politician. And like mm -hmm. I said, from his presentation, everything during the debate, I was impressed. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. once again, back in the Stop the Steal movement, talking about the, you know, you know, and none of them now come out and say, like some people will say, like he lost the election, but there's a but after it. But, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The dude lost, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and, and by any means, I really honestly think he's going to lose again. It's just going to be, we don't win either way. Lose no. or win, we don't lose. Because this right. dude still ain't going to go away. He's going to be on another stop to steal bullshit. No telling where that's going to leave us. Right. Well, true. when I look at the whole situation, man, I'm just kind of, once again, I look at the words that he said and look at the context behind it. And his response was, I'm focused on the future. Mm -hmm. When you want to focus on the future. Yeah. When, when you want to focus on the past, you say, Kamala's been the president for the last three years. Mm -hmm. What has she done? Well, that's the past. Yeah. When you say shit like, well, ask yourself if you, if you uh, felt better about your situation four Financial. years ago or today. Mm -hmm. Guess what, nigga? That's the past. But now, mm -hmm. <laughs> now that we want to talk about some past shit... <laughs> Yeah. You focused on the future, huh? Yeah, on the future. Yeah, yeah. Once again. This nigga, crazy ass shit that you know, he talk about focusing you know, on the future. He you knows his ass is a cheater. He, yeah. he moved too smooth with them with that deflecting shit. Well, oh yeah. I do want you to focus on the future too. Cause if you ain't click the like button, click it now. And now the future will be the present, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Also, if you like this content, make sure that you subscribe to Left Wing King to see more videos just like this every week. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is a heated conversation that they had for healthcare. 